Good morning, good evening, guys. Welcome back to another video. Hope you're good. Hope you're an amazing day. I made this video after asking a lot of questions from many of my friends in Eritrea, from Ethiopia, and you know there are so many different religions in those countries. But remember, Ethiopia is going through a lot. You know, now the Amhala um, has also opened a big war against the federal government. The Tigri did that before, and still they are still resisting. And remember, the Fano are the soldiers that are actually fighting for Amhala. I think that's what they call them. They don't want the government. They don't want to be under the federal government. They want to own their own state. And I think this has been something in Ethiopia, because when I see Ethiopian government, I see the Oromo have their own army, the Tigri have their army, the, like everybody has his own army. And most bad thing, everybody has guns, and they are legal. But anyway, remember, Eritrea fought so hard to escape from Ethiopia to have their own independence. And this war actually between Tigri and Ethiopia is on borders between Eritrea and Ethiopia. So that makes Eritreans vulnerable. That makes people think that maybe some Eritrean are under this war. But this lady we are going to witness right now, the next video we're going to watch, these are the people who came out and talk about what's really happening. They worked together with the federal government of Ethiopia in order to keep peace between Eritrea and Ethiopia, which is the Horn of Africa. They say that I quote that when there's no peace in Africa or Horn of Africa, there's no peace where in the world. So let's check out this video. If you're new, hit the like button and subscribe. You can give your own opinions in the comment section. These are mine. You feel me? Let's go. Nearly two years starting in November 20. All right, this will do fast. Subscribe to Breakthrough News. This is just for entertainment and for educational purpose, for those who want to know more. And I know most of the Eritreans know what I'm talking about and what's really happening and what's causing the war and what is keeping it going. But let's listen from the perspective front lines. Eritrean soldiers speaks out for the first time, you know. Let's go. For nearly two years, starting in November 2020, war raged in Ethiopia throughout the regional states of Amhara and Tigray and mm. along the border with Eritrea. The former mm. ruling party of Ethiopia, the Tigrayan People's Liberation Front, launched the war as an uprising against their own government and as a new front in their long-running efforts to overthrow the Eritrean government. So, the walking either on the side of Eritrea and or on the side of Ethiopia. Which one goes first will be and overthrown. And as a new front in their long-running efforts to overthrow the Eritrean government. While much commentary has been made on the conflict, almost none has come from the Eritrean perspective. Recently, mm. Breakthrough News traveled to Eritrea and spoke with several soldiers from the Eritrean Defense Forces about why they fought, their views on how the war is seen around the world, and their feelings about the future. From their perspective, the war was part of a critical mission for the country. The time of walking alone, this path is no more. Africa. This lady just give the point. The time of walking this path alone, especially, is no more. We are happy. Man, like peace in Africa is needed. Like when your neighbor has a problem, that means after your neighbor, the problem is coming to you. So what you do? You fight with the neighbor and eliminate the problem. The TPLF was in the government and the federal government came in and we are thrown. So they become a problem which costs 
lives of Eritreans and Ethiopians, and mostly it's innocent people, civilians, you know. They help Ethiopia to address the enemy. Who was the enemy? Who is still the enemy actually? The TPLF. You know? And now the Amhala. It's a win-win, not in vain. Like they have a prophet. Yeah. For these soldiers, the war was not random, and Eritrea has not been targeted as the chief villain of the conflict in the Western media by accident. Mm. She just made that. They will never colonize and they will never happen. Wow. If you are depending on the country and the donations actually on the help, like fundings from other country that won't help your country to grow. So you have to think big, use the small you have, grow your country without begging. This is what this guy is trying to tell you. You should not do good to your country. The Eritrean Defense Forces have also been the subject of a range of allegations, including mm. mass rapes and pillaging. When we asked about these accusations, the soldiers we spoke to vehemently rejected them. <laughs> That's the waste. That's the waste media causing all this. Mm. Mm. 
حدا غنقا كمز حدا سب حدا وغن كنو اكا ويكا انا اخا كودقه كان تريد تزكيلو كم يديرو اطعام ما تفرعين باد نيوز نا كا خات بتكير فوس كوس ميديا يو نو a lot of things so that they can defeat you. I'm not Adam. We can't make your own decisions. We're not Anna. Not in Anna. We can't in Anna. A kaida. No, he atus. The zig bers never in a grass. We need some Anna. For the soldiers we spoke with, this is a major part of why they feel the need to speak out. Good. I'm not media. We can't act in Adam. We can't make our own decisions. We're not Anna. We're not in Anna. We can't make our own decisions. We're not Anna. We're not in Anna. We can't make our own decisions. كانت جيران يملوا وامروا بدلية دواعي هز بيئة خمسة أنا فوري جميلة تتأكد من هز بيئة فاي جرز بلوزر واتا يمت أكاي ويكات مسوم عينا ولا هو مس إن هنا عب بريو أو خصم عقلنا كانت إذن كاتاري فوي كات صار جبر كان بس ناتو عينة تجر بيني إذا عندنا كم سراوي ويكا نحنا كم من سيادة that's how a female elutians are determined. Mm-hmm. من أعتقد إذا صدرها الكبار ويكا أتي أحب واقع في فيكا سيد ديفر كعب بغال عين دمنتر نايت تطلع حتى جنبي لو مزك خلاص كسمع كذا خلاص بيها غاز وفي كان في جلسة يبنا هي تقام بس مدا عين زك هنا جبنا هنا حيزنا صغيرة زب تعمل هذا الشيء يعني وصلنا كان عدو كل استجابة حكي حكي زل الله yeah. Their actions are simply a continuation of Eritrea's struggle for independence and sovereignty. Mm-hmm. بركم زجبر بروباغندا شافين كاز جبر كاين زي جبر كاين دا مع بلكا زجبر مية وتزغون هو صح صح من بل إحنا جد بتهز جبروا من جدي بتهز جبروا من جبر من جدي سرت نوره لا تحاجوا سلزخرو عن إحنا ون ناساتهم سرت إذن إحنا نزعوت تمت تقولنا تفنا ما بيجي أتحاول في تقولي لم تأيد تسوي لم تأحرف هذا ما نحن نعمل أني نتي زور سنتي بعد ما أتك نبزي ما نتي أبنا أفضل مسكر ناس كلتي دفعت مسكر أبنا أفضل ولا أمري يتبع أبنا بعد ولك أي سر هنا يوم ناي دفع عند رأسنا يبي إذا سمع أبنا مسكر كم تنا أنا أبوظنا أيضنا بحجر زوج محلنا زمريت نحن ما نتم بحجر ما تصور لكم نزاهر جوزي أبو حجري كنا أقولهم نسون كأ تقبلهم بكأ خمسة نعبوتاتهم نحواتهم تاريخ نزاهر كد كحلولة تاريخة كل نجر حلوة قالي إرترا نحن يعني إرترا إنترا إرترا ما يزوجنا نجر ما يزوجنا نسوي خوان فلان ما إرترا إنترا إرترا ما يزوجنا عادات دقيقة اللي نالو بنحنا كل عبوراتنا كل نجر ما نطوينها كمش ترسي <تصفيق> 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 They just said, give them peace. Like, if a woman come out and confess that this happens, this doesn't happen in a war, I think you should respect them because they are women and they cannot just keep quiet if anything wrong goes on or happens to another one. They told you that the Tigri people raped the women 
and they rescued them from them. So the news comes back that Eritreans rape women during the war and mass murder. You know, when you are doing good in something, it always turns up. But remember, just imagine you find people fighting and you try to separate them, maybe you end up beaten or being a bad person. But let me tell you something. History can repeat each other if you cannot protect what you fought for. So if Eritreans cannot defend their country right now by sending the enemies away inside Eritrea, I think history can repeat each other. But hey, his, like the Lord said, Eritrea is a self reliant country. It doesn't need any help from the foreigners, though I think they need it, but not that too much, but it can grow at its own pace. So the fight that goes on in Ethiopia touches us, touches everybody, touches everyone. We should pray that that doesn't happen because if it exceeds more, like most states that fight, the Omoholo, the, the Oromo, the Amhara doing it, the Tigrisian, what happened to the others? So the country is going to fall and the federal government cannot do anything. So if there's anything you can do, let the Ethiopians live safely, let Eritreans live safely, let Africa live safely. See you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching until the end. And if you did watch until the end, hit the like button and tell me I just did. Bye. Subscribe.